Okay, guys. Here we are. Um, so I'm a little late today because I watched the Nightwish concert. It was a virtual concert streamed all over the world from Finland to us fans, the Nightwish army. <laughs> and uh, it was it was very very good, very well done with the green screen and the uh, the venue was virtual, but it was really cool. It was very done very well, and I had a lot of fun watching that. Uh, I'm sure, it's going to be all over YouTube one of these days. They're going to have a video, a uh, DVD. I'm sure they're releasing. But uh, Flo Janssen, superb as usual. She looked awesome. She's saying awesome. <laughs> Uh, the whole band was great. Anyway, so I'm now back to playing Star Trek Online. It's kind of a coming down to... From, like, coming down from Asgard. <laughs> right. Coming down to Asgard, from Asgard to, uh... The mundane Star Trek <laughs> world. Anyway. Get that out of the way. Let's play. So we are back. Our lieutenant commander is 15. Our little Vulcan dude. Surat. Randomized name. So if you want, um, yeah, about the night, yeah, the night, night wish thing. If you got the Saturday and didn't watch it prior to Friday, then you have much to look forward to. Believe me, it's very good. Anyway, enough of that. So we are coming back to. Oh, I got some uh, points to spend. So, um, do that one, and that one, and then down skills, um, Let's just skip all the beginning things of this. Then we'll focus on one thing. Um, we can train our bridge officers in quick fix three or shield recharge. Oh yeah, definitely gonna be that one. It's uh, got a new space trait. Um, all restoration and regen. Passive all regen. Oh, nice. Um, beam weapon damage. Let's do that. We're focusing so much on defense on everything. Do that one. I don't have any specialization points yet. Um, the officers. Oh, we still got time. Three hours. Almost four hours to go. Okay. Do that later then. We don't have Admiralty to do yet. So let's check our ship. Uh, 
Okay then. It's kidding I have those scorpion fighters. No new shields. Oops. Just in the wrong button, sorry. Doctor. And port port. Oh yeah. So the current orb core I have gives plus five maximum shield power. Um, but it has a less maximum warp speed. And the new one also has warp core efficiency, which is going to increase power levels. All right. I'm going to switch it because I don't, plus five shield power is not that much. And I don't think I really need it. Like good. Sort um level twenty is when we get that. We don't have that multi yet. R and D we don't even have level one yet. Nope. Nope. Um Temple Ambassador, I gotta look that quest up. Let's go ahead and claim that. Just so we have it out of the way. Alright. But it it is a Mark package. So we get to pick which mark we want, but I don't want to wait on that. Okay, so we're just about to join us, start Frozen. Now, what is not based on the Disney? The story. Disney movie. Um, and, um, all right, so I just want to make my stream make. I always like to check on my phone, make sure my stream's going good. YouTube's good. Twitch is good. Let's do it. Frozen. Lieutenant Commander, the remnants of Jammer are sensors, and there is no way to determine where their base is located without assistance. We need a guide. Instead of picking up a communication satellite nearby, we should be able to modify it to emit a signal that the remnants will think is from one of their ships. On the room and send someone to us to get signal. We can I just do this? Maybe not. House reborn.
now available. This is like the based on the new uh, Target. Okay. All right. Um, use the comma ray, which is, I guess, it's over here. Yeah, must be. The modifications are complete when we trigger the transformation. No, the transmission. The Riemann should think it is from a vessel that is losing power and needs assistance. There's a micro nebula aft of our location that should be sufficient to conceal the Patriot's energy signature while we wait for our Riemann guide to arrive. Uh. I don't know, which is quicker, yeah, probably going forward and turning is actually going to be quicker. It's going backwards, it's really slow, of course this isn't quick exactly either, <laughs> for the cruiser. All right, send the signal. Signal work, Captain Raven scout ship in range. It's moving to scan the area. Sensor lock confirmed. We'll be able to track them as when they go to warp. Probably the battleship be cloaking. They're firing on the Raven ship. The scout ships go over the injured damage, they're decloaking, attempting to reestablish sensor lock. Okay. Uh, the Raven ship is cloaked, but its engines are damaged and sensors are detecting an attack on leak. They can't stay hidden for long. If we, just, if we distract the Romulans, then the Romulans will have a chance to decloak and go to warp. Otherwise, I don't think they can last long against the Romulans. If the Raven vessel is destroyed, we'll lose our best chance of finding the base. Okay. So... We gotta beat up the Romulan shit. So it'll get out of here. Or so the Raymans can get out of here. We had a slow nebula we're in this is causing our shields to go away. And we can't go in too faster. Okay. They know we're here, putting it on the main excuse me. Ah, you're a good distance out of your Federation's territory, aren't you? Offer yep. no aid or assistance to these Riemann rebels and leave this system immediately. If you do so, I can overlook your intrusion into an internal affair. Otherwise. I would be forced to see your presence here as an invasion of Romulan territory. That would be unfortunate for you. Eh, no. Not happening. I can play that too. I can turn faster than you can. There 
go. Uh, you just had... You just had to cause trouble. Didn't you? Alright, see so if we can get this sh loot. Alright, approach the Raymond Scout. Gee, I wonder where he is. They got a nice locator thing there for us. That did not used to be the case. This quest. Follow the Raymonds. Okay, well, he's gonna know that we're following him, right? He's got to know we're following him, so we're not exactly being secret about it, but he helped him, so I guess he's going to be cool about it. Last time I beat one of these, is, it was with a shovel, so I ought to be able to take them with this thing. <laughs> took off. The Raven ship has executed a short warp jump and I have a lock on this coordinate, sir. Can engage warp as soon as you're ready. Okay, let's go. I'm crafting stuff to get, but I don't want to take the time to maneuver around for that sort of thing. I'm not picking up any ships here, but I wouldn't be surprised if there are one or more hook ships in the area. Remember, hook ships can appear as concentrations of tetrion particles. I'll continue scanning. There's something interesting on the planet's surface, however. Since it's already taken a large underground installation, it could very well be the base that the Riemann Resistance is using. The entire area is protected by a magnetic field, though, so we can't transport inside. There is a series of caverns connected to the installation. We could send a team there and try to find a way to disable or circumvent the magnetic shielding. Okay. Aim down, then. And that looks like a good team. Uh, the underground cabin we are in is natural, but the base itself, it's a ship. The Derodex class, and if my Turk quarter readings are correct, the Ravens moved a derelict vessel into the cavern. We appear to be in a maintenance area adjacent to the hull of the ship. The Ravens probably mine these tunnels for raw materials. 
I'm picking up multiple veins of ore that could be useful if they're replicating the ship parts or weapons. I'm not reading any way into the ship from here though, we'll need to find out if it's... Okay. I never read that before, I've done this quest like five times. <laughs> or more. And I never read that and didn't realize that this is a ship for it. Interesting. Whoops. Okay. Yeah, targeting on consoles. Hanging the ass on the ground. The camera seems to be occupied by indigenous fauna. We should proceed with caution. Yes. You know, this guy indigenous fauna just killed some. Hello. Big one. Um. Savannah Lab was probably used to refine the ore the dream is collected while creating so. Uh -huh. Consoles in this room appear to operate the heavy machinery. The room is used to create the cavern, and the entrance to the base should be just ahead. Sound leads directly to the main area of the base, sir, but is completely blocked. I wonder if a weapon on its high setting would reach it. This gate is made of titanium alloy. There's no way to, a hand weapon will blast through it. We need something with a lot more power. That's it. Sir, do you see the mining laser? <laughs> Standing right next to it. All right. So we're going to use the mining laser. Right here. Uh, control panel. Things over here. And yeah, automatic shit now. Malfunction. Uh, something must be wrong with it. Yeah, know that. Duh. Glad you guys are here to tell me when something goes wrong that something went wrong. Okay, scan the labor. Okay, um. Your career training, training will help. Okay. Engineering instructors always said to determine the cause of a problem before you attempt to solve it. You can start by running a level 1 diagnostic on the mining laser's power system. Um. Some goodies in it. Okay. Um.
Use diagnostic terminal. Here, here we go. The malfunctions detected in mining laser power supply is inadequate to operate laser at full power. Our recommendation to replace power conduits to increase capacity. Okay. Um. Repair of power conduits, which are where? That looks like a thing we can... Why does every new species we encounter try to kill us? Yeah. Because they're hungry. So, where is the conduit? There isn't one here, I guess. Nope. There we go. somewhere yeah that did it sir power of the main laser is steady and it should be ready to fire Ta-da! Success! The path inside the Riemann base is clear. The Riemanns will be alerted to our presence, so we need to be careful. Okay. Let's go take him to visit. He visits. Over sec. Um, hello. Um, yeah, we don't, you don't mind if I scan this duranium ore. 
do you? The room seems to have been inspecting us. Perhaps we should have just not. Yep. Here we go. That scene. This place won't be safe forever. We have to be ready to leave at a moment's notice. Prepare the... Ah, it's you. Welcome to the heart of the Resistance, little spy. There is so much for us to discuss, and so little time. The Tal Shiar have discovered this, our last refuge. They will be here soon, and my people and I will have to fight for our lives. Yet one question remains. Will you be our friend or mm. our enemy? It is logical that we would help you against the Tashiar. My hope is that you are here to talk, but I am prepared for the alternative. The Tashiar could arrive at any time. Speak quickly. Why? You ask why? This place is one of the last sanctuaries left to my people, and even it is lost to us now. The Romulans have driven us from our homes, destroyed our ships, and captured or killed our loved ones. Hmm. They seek to exterminate us, and we will not go quietly. Uh -huh. Understand, I do not want this war. I want freedom for my people. It is the Romulans and the Dark Masters they serve who have caused this. Now they must suffer the consequences. Is okay. there anything else you wish to ask? Uh, do you this know campaign about that? terror is the Tal Shiar's doing, not the Empress's. Still, Sila does nothing to stop it. There is little love between the Empress and the Tal Shiar. Did you know that many years ago, she was exiled from Romulus for attempting to assassinate the head of their order? The Tal Shiar have their own masters, and Sila despises what she cannot control. Huh, I did not know that. So, many years ago, Sila was exiled from Romulus for attempting to assassinate the head of the Tal Shiar. Is there anything else you wish to ask? And more about these demons. I've never seen one of these demons, and I will not speak their name, but I know they exist. Eons ago, they ruled this part of the galaxy. After thousands of years of tyranny and death, the races they ruled rose up against them, driving them from their home world into unexplored space. We thought they had been destroyed. We were wrong. The demons of air and darkness survive, and they hunger for revenge. Is there anything else you wish to ask? I am glad you see things my way. Get instructions from your commanders if you must, but the battle rages and we must join it. With your help, my people will be free. All right. I'm pleased you see that my cause is just. We can do great. Sir, Romulan transporter signal detected. Uh -huh. Enter the base. Start the evacuation. We must get the civilians out. Commander Roshna, transport the reinforcements here. Tell them to assist our new ally. I will return to my ship and attempt to hold off their forces. Help my soldiers defend this base. Fight well, my friend. My people are counting on you. Okay. I shall count on you in the future. Uh, we also have transporter lock on you and awaiting the test here. must have activated transfer inhibitor. Transporter inhibitor. Yeah. 
Oh. Of course, can't go out that door. Because why would we be able to? And we can't go out that one either. Okay, I wanted to get this thing anyway. Okay. There we go. Hi, bad guys. To go this way. It says. Um. Still this way. This guy's tough. Okay, here's our transporter inhibitor. The region should be able to handle it from here. We should return to the ship and report to Admiral Tanay. Obasek trusts us. I don't know if he's right about the outside influence on Akib's actions, but I'm sure that he believes these demons are real. Alright, let's go. I sympathize with Obasek's plight, but I do not know if we will be able to assist him. He has no proof of these demons that he claims are directing Haki's actions. Without that, becoming directly involved in this conflict would be a violation of the Prime Directive. We will protect the Federation, offer aid to the refugees, and keep this conflict from spilling over into our territory. But if Obasek and his followers are going to continue this fight, they will do so without Starfleet support. Pistol, so stupid. Um, I like the drive. Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. Oh, a bunch of consoles. Tactical consoles. I agree with you. There is more to this story, and we must continue to follow the trail until all is revealed. As I have said, Directly assisting the Remans against the Tal Shar would be interfering with an internal affair, and that is prohibited by Starfleet regulations. However, I will authorize you to continue investigating this matter. If you can find evidence that supports Obasek's claims, then more options will be open to us. Green Hellwhite, Obasek. The Reman resistance is very much in need of your help. My contacts tell me that Starfleet has rejected my request for military assistance. That is regrettable, but not unexpected. The Tal Shiar are formidable opponents, as are the forces directing their action. I understand why the Federation would hesitate to engage them directly. So today I appeal to you, not as an ally in battle, but as a person of compassion. My people need your help. I need your help. One of our ships was carrying a load of Thaleron weapons through the Nopada system. Um, that ship mm -hmm. has disappeared. There are no indications there was a battle. It's as if my ship and its cargo simply vanished. I know you have your reservations about the lengths to which I will go to secure the freedom of my people. Tell me, 
If you do not trust me with Thaleron weapons, do you want Hakiv to have them? Mm, I can nope. provide you with the last coordinates of the vessel. Please help me. Do what you will with the weapons, if they survive. But find my people. Mm, very the Raven well. Resistance is very much in need of your help. Hey. So we got a bunch of consoles for the ship. So let's take a look. Uh, they were tactical consoles. I only got one slot. So that was better. It could beam weapon damage, cannon weapon damage, torpedo weapon damage, and disruptor damage. Okay, so we'll do that one. Because pretty much that's what we're using beams. Okay. And go to. Boom. I'll see him. I'm not reading any active vessels on scanners. There is, however, a debris field nearby. It's clustered around a satellite in orbit of the planet, and the com composition of the debris corresponds with ships that have gone missing in this region. I'll keep scanning, sir, but I'll need to take a closer look before I can determine if there are Thaleron weapons on one of the hulks. Okay. I scan the ship, I want to scan the magnesite. Almost there. And boom. Oh, wrong way. Go. Scan the shit. I'm not exactly the best soul that was like sent to find us us to find, but all of the ships in this debris field show signs of being affected by the same thing. A high frequency energy beam that overloaded all of their systems. If the Riemann ship was hit by that beam, it might have crashed into the planet's surface or gone adrift somewhere else in the system. I'm detecting energy readings from the satellite, sir. If the Riemann crew detected them as well, they could have tried to use it to record a distress signal. They'll need to be closer before I can attempt an uplink with the satellite's communication array. Warning. Ship is under attack. Uh. Okay. It's, uh. We're stuck. The screen is holding us like a fly in a spider web. We've managed to keep life support and environmental system active, but almost everything else is offline. Shields, weapons, engines, nothing works. I'm not detecting any life signs on the satellite, sir, but there is a comp compartment with life support. Systems offering in the beam must be automated. The chief says we have enough power in the backups for one transport. I recommend we send a team over to that satellite and find a way to turn the beam off. 
Okay. Let's go. Captain, the consoles here appear to control the beam that is draining power from the Patriot. But there is a security lock preventing access. Power save moons disengaged, process priority order overwritten. Hmm. This console doesn't appear to be locked like the others. Whoever did this must not have thought that the console used for inventory control was important. I think I can access the back door into the rest of the satellite's programs from here. Okay, cool. I see the problem. The Romulan consoles are causing a lockout. By forcing that satellite's primary processors to run through a series of equations and removing key bits of information from the answers, which causes the processors, processors to lock up. If we can solve these equations and put, input the correct information directly into the consoles, the security lock on the satellite's controls should be released. Okay. Um, forty four seventy nine. A equals seven. Oops. Ah. Okay, B equals okay. Um, Sixteen. Oh, no. Uh, all right. Time to get the calculator. I can do this in my head, but... I always second-guess myself, and... It takes me longer, because I have to rethink it. So... Forty-five, twenty-eight... Minus, um, 29.74 equals 15.54, so 5. Okay, so 59 times... Forty-nine. Ninety-one. And... Twenty-six thirteen. Divided by... Sixty-seven. 39 so not. Hit. next set oh boy okay so parentheses 87 times 23 
close parentheses, plus 2631 equals 4632, so 63. So A is 6, and B is 3. Okay, and we got parentheses 99, 86, minus 2461, divided by 43. It's 175, so 1 and a 7. Whoops. 1. Okay, so sixty-three, sixty-two, minus fifty-six, thirty-four, plus Francine's fifty-four times sixty-eight. equals 4,400. So, 40, oops, <laughs> 44, 0, Exit. I do it. <laughs> Sorry. So now we can go over here. Targeting satellite tar targeting console. All right. Um, all right. Can okay, this target something else? Object detected. USS Patriot, and that's it. So expand the range. Let's go big. Falco's party targets. Satellite has ensnared a piece of debris near the ship. It's starting to hold it on us. It's weaker, but we're not out of the woods yet. Critical systems are stable. We still don't have the weapons or long range communications. Okay. So we managed to get the satellite to target something else. Say most to speed priority process priority order over it. Okay. 
It also looks like it controls the satellite's power supply. Since we weren't able to free our ship by targeting something else, perhaps we can decrease the power to the satellite's weapon. Then the Patriot might be able to break free. Economic. We found that if the Patriot does not attempt to move or fire at the satellite, that it will engage a lower power version of the beam affecting us. It's almost like an energy saving mode. Yeah, that's good. We can use that to our advantage, at least we won't have to worry about life support. Well, this ship's stable and keep working on boosting power to critical systems while you try to disrupt the satellite's functions and free us. Okay. Get one more thing over here we can work on. This console controls the satellite's general operations. We've managed to minimize the power output of the satellite. I think if we keep at it, we can switch the satellite's controls over to a sleep mode. Okay. Operation state off. Turn it off. Uh, we did it. Oink, but we didn't go back to the ship. Where am I? Over yet? How did I get that view like that? If you fail to comply with command, now we fight we will be or we die. Make sure you pick up a melee weapon. All of your gear is deactivated. And I won't protect you in there. All right. Uh, well, I can scan stuff. So, melee weapon. Let's get a Vulcan one. Let's wear a Vulcan. Pip it. I've never seen those weapons used before by anyone in the arena. I think the mercenaries who act as the occasional guard thought that those weapons might actually be worth something, unlike the beat up ones they let us use. My best guess is that they're looking to sell them at some point when their contract here is up for some extra money. Um, okay. So, we, whatever weapons we're talking like that, we can't access. Burpa is a Remember to equip your new weapon. Vulcan, but it's not a green one. The other one I got is green. Yeah, let's just, let's just go. Okay. Test one. No pardon desert Akari entering 
contesting area. Uh. Okay, let me scan this first. varying weapons from one base to another. When we passed through this system, a satellite disabled our ship. It drifted into the planet's atmosphere. I activated the emergency transporter, and a few of us were able to transport to safety before the ship crashed in the desert. We were looking for shelter and a way to contact our people when a group of soldiers found us. Oh, they took us huh? here and kept throwing us into the arena. Now I'm the only one remaining. That is all I know. We were transporting a shipment of Thaleron weapons. I know that your people will not use them. We do not want to, but our fight is getting desperate. We needed to do something, anything, that would shift the tide of war. Even if that choice was horrific. I jettisoned our cargo as we were entering the atmosphere. The weapons were completely destroyed. I've seen what Thaleron weapons are capable of firsthand. I could not allow them to contaminate a world not involved in my people's fight. I don't know who was responsible for this place. The trainers and the guards all appear to be mercenaries mm. without any clue about what's going on. They're paid to keep us in cages and look the other way night I was brought in I was interrogated there were bright lights in my eyes and a synthetic voice asking me questions that a voice was to care to conceal his identity I have no idea what they want with us or why they make us fight this all seems like some sort of giant game but there is no one in the stands to be entertained. Mm. I've had several partners in my battles. You were the only one about which I've been questioned. You must have impressed our masters. I know you have impressed me. 
think there are others. I hear other fights. If there are other prisoners, I have never been able to contact them. We are kept separated and caged unless we are fighting. Um, is there any way out of here? The trainers carry key cards. That's the only way I know to get through the defenses. You think we can get one? Can I trust you? Yep. I can see that we think the same way, friend. A few years ago, I worked as a bodyguard for a Ferengi merchant. He had a talent for acquiring latinum. And during my time with him, I learned a few things. I was able to lift a key card from one of the trainers during my interrogation. If you help me, I think we can overpower the guards and escape through the main door in the arena. Uh, okay. Sounds cool to me. If we get to the arena again, which it sounds like they will do. If you fail to comply with commands, you will be punished. And. Try to free the other prisoners. You fight the worms. on the sides of the arena to fight the elder one all right he spin at it Just like that. last time. Use the remaining console on the side of the arena to fight the Elder Worm. Okay. There's another set of consoles by the metal wall. Use them while the worm is distracted. Enemy target. I've been hit! I can't continue, my friend! You need to protect me! So... Oh, oh. Um, we're gonna die here. Uh... Let me out! All right, I need one of them herbs. Uh, I could possibly make it. Run! Oh fuck! Enemy on My character is invisible, apparently. I guess some more dudes, but.
Ja. Kan så. Ja. Why is it telling, telling me to go over there when there's nothing there? Can't get through there yet. Uh, I need to eat this. Uh, guys, why are you standing? Free the rest of the prisoners, but how? Enemy targets on sensors. There's enemy targets on sensors. Finally. All right, you guys. Enemy target on center. Any defenses? Boom, boom, boom. The worm destroyed the metal wall! Run! That's our way out! Uh, this one? Hmm. Yeah. Bunch of uselessness. Tells us what's going on here. It's just lore stuff, basically. Escape the arena. Watch out. There are Romulan scorpion fighters overhead. They're looking for us. We need to move quickly and smartly to avoid detection. I recommend we head to the east. Okay. See that mountain in the distance? My ship crashed on the other side. It may have something we can use to signal your vessel. The search for us will only get more intense the longer we stay here. We need to get away from the arena as quickly as possible. There's a fighter heading straight for us. Quick, take cover in those dark rocks over there. And what? Stay still and wait for that fighter to pass overhead. If we are fortunate. They won't detect us. Okay. They didn't see us. Let's move on. I can't go on. My injuries from the arena are too painful. We need to find a place to rest for a moment.
forgive me, my friend. Before we... Okay. Branch Park. Okay, got all the stuff. Make it feel better, we go on. So let's go towards the valley here. I'm thinking we can maybe get through here and now that we're in the canyon, we shouldn't have to worry about the fighters anymore. Just the local wildlife. Keep your eyes open. My idea of the scanning stuff, you should get it better and better and better at scanning and get better and better items until you fail at it. Oh. Oops. I think... We can equip... Actually, let's just leave the uh, melee weapon. We'll just do that. Now, or our, our, not our shield, yeah. We can use our energy weapon now that we're out of the arena.
Buddy, die, die. It's a big moon. The weather isn't going to hold out for too much longer. We should look for a place to spend the night. I've noticed that there are things we can gather along the way to make our night more pleasant. The search patrols are moving on. We will not survive a night in this desert. We need to find shelter and safety. If we can scavenge provisions to create a camp, we'll have a better chance of reaching the wreckage of my ship alive. Hey. I don't know about you, but it has been many hours since I last ate. Our captors gave us just enough food to keep us alive. But I can hear a pack of wild warrigals. I have killed hundreds of warrigals in the tests. I wonder what they taste like. I expect the warrigals will probably lair somewhere near water. Perhaps up on a ridge where they can leap down on prey. Let's both keep a lookout somewhere that we may find them. Okay. Find food. Run, run, run. This uh, mission is all about running, 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 this running. This like prime Warrigal territory. A pack could easily hide in those craggy hills to the north and come down for water when they aren't hunting. Go go this way. Kill something we eat. Should last us through the night. Let's get into this cave before the temperature drops anymore. Okay. The temperature is dropping rapidly now. This cave should protect us from the I elements. I got a little pet, looks like. I've done some exploring. Oh. <laughs> Maybe not. It looks like this cave continues when the sun rises. The side of the mountain. We could save time and energy by using the passage instead of trying to find a path over the mountain. Excellent. The passage saved us hours. This could walking. be a good day. Let's find my ship. My ship isn't far from here. I think I can make out smoke from the wreckage on the horizon. There she is. She 
wasn't much to look at, but she was ours. And when we were flying through space, we were free. Perhaps she can help us one last time. Perhaps. survived the crash but in the likely event it didn't we might be able to piece together some components to create a makeshift emergency beacon okay but by turning our back i do not know why slomic had this on his ship the materials are not of romulan or Riemann design but there are traces of protomatter and decalithium and those are materials used to create the Hobus Supernova. Be careful. You do not know who you can trust anymore. Okay. There's no way this vessel will ever fly again. The damage done by the fall through the planet's atmosphere is severe. If the emergency stress beacon wasn't vaporized in the crash, it's probably buried under 30 meters of rock and sand like the singularity drive and the cargo bays. You do, however, find a backup generator with a minuscule amount of energy left. If you had the right components, you think you could construct a makeshift subspace beacon to contact your ship. You won't be able to do anything more than transmit a few pulses to let your crew know where you are, but it should do the trick. Okay. So I did the uh, Iconian thing too soon, because now I have the objective. Okay, so I'm going to trigger the icon thing one more time. Maybe it'll get rid of the objective. Not that it really matters, I don't think. I do not. Huh. Yep, yeah, it did. It. Okay. Okay. Thanks for rescue. From me, there is no place where I cannot find you. My spies are everywhere. Prisoner 1478, take your place. You did your job admirably. It is good to know at least one Riemann understands who is the master and who is the slave. Uh. The loss of the listening post was a minor setback. The Riemann's refuge in the Dara system has been destroyed. Dozens of subjects have been tested in my arena when the iconians return they will find i have done all they have asked and more but you will not be there on that dreaded day this tiresome game ends now mm. you could have been such a fascinating test subject but this time no this time i think a more direct approach is best mm -hmm. ready aim no!
Mm-hmm. I got transported away. Just in time. There you go. I apologize for Slamic's action. I had no idea there was a traitor in our midst. If his actions caused harm to you or your crew, forgive me. That was not my intent. However, your trip to the Nopada system was not in vain. Now you see. Now you know. Hakiv is a pawn of a greater mm -hmm. power. The demons of air and darkness are here. You should report to your superiors. Tell them what you have seen here. Open their eyes to the dangers that lurk in the shadows. Uh huh. Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. Well, Seventeen. You got a new ship shield. You know, it's the same thing. It's exactly the same as what I have. Exactly. But it even costs the same, or the worth the same energy. <laughs> okay, whatever. New space skill points. Uh, Alright, we can get that one now. And I want to get... Uh, energy weapon training. Oh yeah, Jekyllus. Okay. Energy weapons. This is damage. It's always good. So, mission. Episodes. Cutting the cord. Starfleet Intelligence has completed its analysis of the data you recovered in the Nopata system. There is a 67.47% chance that the Iconians are using the Tal Shiar as a way to influence the Romulan Star Empire and that their hmm. persecution of the Remans is directly related to this. Command is considering lending assistance to Obasek and his forces. But before we come into direct conflict with the Romulans, we want to try a more discreet approach. The data indicates that Hakiv is operating out of the Brea system Long-range sensor scans indicate that there may be a major Talshar installation there. We want you to infiltrate this system, apprehend Hakiv, and destroy the Talshar's base. Hakiv must not escape. He may be the only person who knows how extensive the Iconian influence in Romulan space is. I have new missions for you. Cutting the cord, travel, whoops. <laughs> travel, transfer. in the Brea system. 
Preliminary scans show automated defenses and a handful of Romulan ships. Most likely Tal Shiar vessels. If we're going to reach that planet and beam down safely, we'll have to breach the Romulan defenses. The weapons platforms are probably short range, but we must disable the satellites and any enemy ships in orbit, or any away team that we send to the planet will be in immediate danger. Tactically, it would be wise to draw off the ships and engage them separately from the fixed defenses. The Zedenia is prepared to assist you in the attack when you are ready. Okay. Enemy vessel, you are in Romulan space. Mm. Leave immediately, or you will be destroyed. Yeah. Aurora Light Warbird. Uh. God damn it.
Okay, let's see. Oh, it's not going to ask us to go down yet. Uh, oops. No. Okay. Sometimes it's hard to tell which direction. Do the uh, waveform match thing. Long range sensors show the tall ship. All right, get down. We have a problem. The Tal Shiar are trying to jam transporters, and particle leakage from the strange technology here is affecting our targeting sensors. Okay. Okay. This mission, I know what it is. Oh, come on. You're supposed to be able to hit the beam down helpers at that point, but it always triggers it too soon. a orbital strike My Vulcan would say that was acceptable. Uh oh, got a thing. Out 
Boom. Got him. Oh, I think. Pretty much late. Yep. Oh, I can't do that now. Did I take too long or something? I don't understand. That happens to me sometimes. I don't understand. I get here and then I don't know why I can't do it. Was I supposed to do that to get rid of that ship somehow or something? To get down for the... Uh, place to charge. Talk to the room and the tenant because he died. And for our scan for high key, we need to do this. It is not optional. Alright, scan for high keys. Keeps in the promenade outside of a building southwest of your location, but you're separated from him by one of those force fields. There's an access gate on the walkway, but you'll need to disable the force field. If you create a massive power drive at one of the other large facilities, it should temporarily disrupt the field. If you get back on the rooftops, they give you a better vantage point. Okay. Screw guys. Cubes in a re reinforced section of the base will need an access chip or else the doors won't open. We're reading a forward observer team on the highest building in your area. If you can get officers access chip, that should get you into the heart of the base. And, uh, got these guys. 
Good thing my weapon is more powerful than theirs. Uh, I can't reach the turret. Boom! Gotcha. Okay, it's another one of those spots. If I get it just right, I can call for help before they... Call for support. There we go. You're supposed to be dead, so yeah. Pretty cool looking city, kind of. left hand. No? Down this way. guys. Oh. Much work for rings to be done. Yeah. Beat Hakeem and then locate and destroy the iconic technology. Oh, 
None of this matters. Those triggers are right when I'm able to bring the Iconians here. Call for help. Over. That was Taurus's plan, too. And you saw how that ended for the world. We finally have the opportunity. Victory is within our grasp. You call this victory? It's over. This is done. You're done. No! We can still finish! You're the cause of all yeah, this. Yeah, I'm your problem. You don't even understand what you walked into. You're too late to stop it. A lonely being such as yourself cannot even recognize the true power the Iconians represent, and that any future will depend on a place in their regime. Uh -huh. All you've done is arrive in time for the end of existence as you know it. Yep. Okay, call for support. Did I get it in time? Yeah. Fool, I can call as many reinforcements as I need. Not now. My ship has put an interference field around this plaza. It's over. Yeah. You think you've stopped me? The Iconians already know. They know everything. Uh. But they'll be here soon. And nothing you've done will make a difference. It's not over. It's uh -huh. over for you. It's not over. Hmm. I kind of think it is over. The road to Riemann independence will be long and bloody, but this is a significant step. While I do not seek your approval of my methods, the crossing of our paths has been fortuitous. It's a pity you cannot aid us further in our liberation. You have my respect, and the respect of my crew. If in the future we encounter one another again as allies, I would find this gratifying. I must return to the Zedinia. I recommend you finish what you came to do, and leave quickly. Something else popped up right when I was going to push the button, and it removed it. Oh, we have to do this side first. Scan the Iconian gates. Oh, probably one. Oh, right. Oh, that's science, not science. Engineering. Okay. Scan. Scan the gate. Eve was trying to use that gateway to escape. It was set for a location in the Delta Quadrant, but our sensors haven't shown anything in that area but empty space. Obviously, there is something there. Okay. That space will charge. Oh.
Alright, so I got a call from bombardment, but I got to get far enough away. Ship. I'm trying to hold her off, but the Zidenia is no match for a ship of that class. You'd better return to your vessel quickly. Okay. I shall indeed. Enemies of the Romulan people, this insurrection will not stand. Your hostile actions against the Romulan colony are acts of war. Uh... No. We have our work cut out for us. I will assist you. After all, we face a common foe. Okay. Let's keep me them then. Oh, I shot my torpedo. Stirred it. Okay, I was heading for that one, but they beat it already.
sensors are reading a gate opening. There's a ship coming through. Can't get a sensor lock on it. They're taking the Leoval in tow. They're heading back through the gate. Uh, shoot them? Why can't we shoot them? Alright, she just escaped. But we need to destroy the gate instead of following her through it. Which might be suicide. We can't depart yet. Now we can depart. Starfleet will continue the search for Sela's vessel. But as of right now, we have no idea where the Iconians took her, or if she went willingly. I find this turn of events disturbing. Sila's absence will throw the Romulan Star Empire into even greater chaos. We have found that the Romulans are at their most dangerous when their backs are against the wall. Like wounded Salot cats, they will strike out at anyone in reach, and the Federation may bear the brunt of their fury. I have Congratulations, it. Lieutenant Commander. Oh, okay. Okay. I have a new shield generator. Um, sort. I need to do this too. Still haven't got the 20. Get a couple of these. Oops. That one. That one. Next one up is Spoils of War. Those marked packages. All right, shipping crew. Um, so we've got a new gun I can use. Sixty DPS, sixty-three DPS. Seventy-one DPS. Or a standard pistol. It's Mark IV. Alright, fine. Um, shield generator Mark IV. Making sure that there's not newer versions of the same things. Like that one's a 
Mark one, so it's no good. Um, we do have this endurance training, maximum hit points. It's going to be more hit points, but the other one also increases shields. Let me leave it. Speaking of shields. Uh, no, no, just good. Armor. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like those poly, poly alloy ones. Okay. Um. Bella is our healer, so I'll make sure he has she has good gear. It's the same as what I got. And the inventory. Okay. That is better. Here, dude. It's the same. That's. Mm. I'll keep what he's got. What does. That's the same. Skills, Captain Skills, Space Skills. Okay. Oh. I got a new thing here. Sector, space, travel speed, or transport cooldown. Let's do that. Okay. No skills? No. Still an hour and a half away. <sighs> All right. Oh, I have no mission. Mission journal. Before the dawn. The Federation has offered the Riemann Resistance humanitarian aid, and we are working with them to find diplomatic solutions to their disputes with the Romulans. Obasek has asked to speak with you. You can meet his ship in the Hakona system. And once again, please accept my congratulations on a job well done. Okay. I have new missions for you. I agree. The Iconians are a cause for concern. Their motives are still unknown to us, as are their plans for the Quadrant. 
What we do know is that they desire chaos. Many of the problems we currently face can be directly traced back to their machinations. If they had not antagonized the Undine, would we now be at war with the Klingon Empire? It may be that they want the powers of the Quadrant so fractured that we will not be able to unite against them. We cannot allow that to happen. I have new missions for you. Oops. Okay. Darkness before the dawn. Alright, well. Transport. My instincts tell me no, but I have no proof. Sila was at odds with the Tal Shiar. I do not think it would have been so if they served the same master. We will be free. I wish him well. I never wanted to rule my people, and I put no restrictions on their freedom. If there are Remans who wish to rebuild their lives elsewhere, they are welcome to do so. We will. Our base in the Derris. We oh. will be free. I gotta do this part. Then. Farewell, my friend. I would welcome the chance to fight by your side again. We. They yeah, received the new floor trophy. It's at the crew deck. Place this memento on your of your adventures on your ship. Really? Okay, um... Let's go to the bridge. So what happens when I get a new ship? Well, let me place it there, too. Maybe it's step forward. I can't go to other decks. Can I go to other decks? That's not, uh, not what I remember. Remember the sh that we could go to a crew deck and ten forward. How do I see? How 
do I go between... That's where it doesn't let me see my inventory to be able to move stuff into here. So confused. Pause it. Oh, there we go. Um, lock box. Yeah, sort. Um, this is infinity lock box. Only stacks to a hundred. Thousands and so what ten bucks? And when we don't get Zen per month on console. So I wonder if they charge less for items since subscribers get less they removed I think purple removed subscriptions from all their stuff right so you can't even subscribe anymore to this game I recall so the um The lifetime subscription gives you bonuses, but it doesn't technically give you a subscription anymore because there is no such thing, right? All right, well, I'll put it. Um, so I don't know where to go to do the ground. I have a new ground item I can put in my ship. But I can't go to 10 forward or anything. Well, let me. Shuttle bridge, shuttle bridge. Yeah. Huh. That's the close range. <laughs> All right. Well, missions. Did that one? 
the Linux's Cardassian struggle. Commander Sarish Minna of Deep Space Nine has requested your assistance with a delicate matter involving Cardassia and Bajor. Okay. The desperate men and women of the true way have turned to one of the Federation's greatest foes in an attempt to hold sway over Cardassia Prime. Starfleet must infiltrate into the heart of the New Dominion and douse the flames of war before they consume the entire quadrant. Mm -hmm. Ups. First minute, that's right. Okay. Well, how can I help you? I start to Welcome report to you. To Space Nine, and thank you for coming so quickly. During the occupation of Bajor, many sacred artifacts were stolen and studied. After the bajoran cardassian Treaty was signed in 2371, these artifacts were supposed to be returned. However, the Obsidian Order, the Cardassian Military Intelligence Branch, opposed the treaty and apparently hid at least some of these artifacts in their warehouses. We know this because we have been contacted by the Cardassian government. There is a faction among the Cardassians called the True Way that rejects the treaty with the Federation. Uh, this organization infiltrated a defunct Obsidian Order facility and stole an Orb of the Prophets. Wait, that's not cool. These orbs are precious to our people. They have been given to us by the Prophets. They possess mysterious and unusual powers. Many of them grant visions to supplicants. We believe the True Way are operating out of a base in the Badlands. We would like you to travel to the Badlands and attempt to recover the orb on behalf of the Bajoran people. How can I help? Congratulations, you? Lieutenant Commander. Okay. Report to Commander Sarasmina. How can I help you? The True Way has stolen an orb the Obsidian Order failed to return after the war. Okay. How can I help you? So I just want to make sure we don't have more than one. Okay. So Cardassian struggle. Turn on. All right. Go to the Badlands. Transport. Oh, the Badlands mission. Oh my gosh, I hate this one. She had to go so slow. Into the Badlands. ships in the vicinity. I am under attack by a group of Cardassian ships identifying themselves as the True Way. 
Please render assistance immediately. Okay. But it takes weeks off my journey. Well, I was just hauling my cargo through the Badlands, and I passed some strange anomaly. I took a scan of it on my way by, and then a bunch of Cardassian ships appeared out of nowhere. They ordered me to surrender in the name of Gull Kardec in the true way. My freighter is obviously no match for them. I tried to get away, but they disabled my engines. They were just about to board me, I believe, when you arrived. If you're looking for the true way, I would head for that anomaly. Okay then. I uh, guess that's the number one. Seems to be some kind of tear in the fabric of space-time continuum. It appears dormant, but I believe it could be widened to become a portal. Sarah's here. We located a trail of orbit energy. We are about to follow it. We can use some backup. Acknowledged. I will be along in the Defiant shortly.
the trail only appears to lead to that moon. Okay, bring me down with our 18. to medium alert.
have it. Never? Never so long time. Alright, sit himself in his office. And to get in there, we need to come up here and unlock the door. What the hell, man? Trying to jump. Jump. There. <laughs> oh, it's in there, I guess. I am Golkardek. This orb is the property of the Cardassian government. Ah, uh, well. The true Cardassian government. No. The true way. And you can't have it. Guards! Hmm. Fools, you will never defeat me. Uh, yeah, I will. Okay, Lisa. Where's Lisa? You went over here all by yourself.
Okay. Who knows who brought this device to Impachnor? It could have been the new link, but it could have been the Obsidian Order. Okay. Or the force field. Uh, I'm supposed to download data first. Dear Kardec, you can imagine my surprise to receive a message from you. All right. From the other dimension. Trying to go up. We are approaching the Badlands. What is your status? I have secured the orb. Gala Kardec has escaped. We are about to attempt to track him. I will be along in the Defiant momentarily. And may the Prophet smile upon you. And here. Looks like I arrived just in time. Yep. Plasma trail. We're following this. So he went through the anomaly.
And then only those look like mirror universe ships. <laughs>
Congratulations on retrieving the orb. You must return it to the temple on Bajor. I will notify the Vex that you are on your way. Uh, let's get the loot first. Congratulations on your recovery of the ore from Gul Kardec. We request that you return the orb to the temple in Hathon on Bajor. I'm afraid that we have not Ooh. seen the last of Gal Kardec. But for now, the people of Bajor will be elated at the return of an orb we thought lost forever. Good work. 3500, 175. Orb generation. How Congratulations, I... Commander. So, did I get to 20? Yeah. Are being held by Admiral Quinn. Congratulations! You've proven yourself to be an invaluable, be invaluable to Starfleet and earn the respect of your fellow officers. Return to Earth Space Dock. I would like to formally recognize your contributions to the Federation. Boom! Go there. Um, ship render. So, tier three? Yep, tier three. Heavy cruiser. Fine special escort or cruiser. Uh, well, I definitely want the cruiser. I don't want to spend dive to them. Um, okay, so it's maybe this one. Tander? Hmm, no. Lincoln. Alright, I like Lincoln. I thought I had an index. Oh, no, not here either. Okay. And it ships like that. Hold on. Back and customize. Of equipment. Um, it's my ship. All right. So Cheyenne. Dakota. 
like that one. Or Stargazer. Hmm. Yeah, I like that one. Tender of Sleep, Utility, Classic, Future, Triumph. A classic is like uh, the, not Deep Shade of Night, but um, Next Generation, I guess. Oh, wait, 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 so my ship. Um, advanced. Material. So we can do the NX, NX refit. Different types of materials. Veteran. How is that different? It's white. With blue lines on it? Not as bright as type 6, which you have to buy. And it's refit it. Yeah. All right, well, let's do it, veteran. Save changes. Okay, so do this first. Space skills. G weapon training. And projectiles. Ground skills. That one. Okay, but I aim often. So let's do that. Traits. We got a new one of each. All right, let's do that. Some space traits. Dr. Phaser Plasma Resists. Good. Okay, specializations yet? No. Okay, we get a assign stations here. Tactical Officer. Um, torpedoes and beams overload.
Hmm. Target rate of fire. Okay. Engineer. Generating team reverse shield polarity and eject warp plasma. Okay, I like the first two. Warp plasma is in, it doesn't work so great. Emergency power to shields, emergency power to weapons, and boarding part. Okay, we're gonna have to go with him. There. Oh, wait. Um, if I put him here, it gives us the whole heal, and then Zarva there. Yeah. Yeah. Science team, Tachyon beam, or Tachyon beam, and tracker beam. Yeah, that one. Oops. What? How did that happen? Invalid entity. Holes. Okay. Three weapons in the front. We only need one torpedo launcher. Let's compare these. Uh, 166 DPS. Okay, so the dual beam is still better. But we're going to put one of those here. And then compare that one. 166 DPS, 142, yeah. Do that. He goes. Yeah, more damage. Okay. Shield. Uh, more regeneration, less capacity. Thing. Reduces polar on damage to shields. All right, let's do that. Mm. All right, so less flight speed, less turn rate. Less full impulse. Yeah, no point. Leave the, what we got. Warp core. Beam open damage. Store. Oh, I don't even have a thing to put in there. Okay.
that's it. Uh, we can't get that one. Yeah, I've not unlocked this episode yet, but it doesn't say why. Is it? Is it my, um... Is that my level? Pearl Ambassador. Oh. We've detected an anomaly in the Azure Nebula. Because of the Tholian activity in that area, we're concerned that they may be attempting to open a rift to the mirror universe. I need a ship to go out there and check it out. Yeah, that's one of my these. This one, Temporal Ambassador. Okay. Beam me up and let's go. Well, our new ship. I can see why it's called Azure and Ebula. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Got to look at stuff here. Alright, so that one's what we're going to put here. That one's going to go automatic. And your average shield strength plus than 75. Yeah. Um. that there so we can boost the weapons if we want. These are going to go automatic. Boarding, oh wait, boarding fighter, let's put that one there. Because I can't automatically execute that. Um, let's put... No, no, no. Let's do that one there and this one will automatic hmm 
trigger. Um, put that. Take shield frequency. Average shield strength is less than. Put my shields offline. It's offline. Pulse offline. Uh, scorpion fighters can't auto fire those. Can't auto fire those. Can't auto fire the scorpion fighters, can we? Need to make the map bigger. Doesn't say it's above us or below us, so we're going to go straight into there. Wells class. Numbly has jumped to a new location. It can't keep doing this forever, sir. We need to get just close enough for a sensor sweep. I see he was working on extending active sensor range, Captain. happening. Uh oh. We just turned into a freighter. Of course we're going to send a dock at the base. Um. A freighter captain.
that. Is strange. And Rick. Do you have a question? I'm back with the Decasite shipment. Thank you, Captain. The Tholian Assembly appreciates your loyalty. So many ship captains threw away their lives needlessly in the days after they annexed this area of space. It'll take a few hours to offload your cargo. Feel free to grab a hot meal in the commissary. I know that comforts can be hard to come by in this sector. I recommend the Plomeek soup. It almost tastes like something. Do you need anything else? Um, no. Some food in the missile. Okay. Darva. Hello. You look familiar. So do you. Have you been in any other work camps in this sector? I'm Zarva. I've been here for about six weeks now working in the cargo bay. I'm pretty good at fixing things, even the worn out junk the Tholians give us. The Tan. He's not one of my crew. He's. Hello. Roman the guy. For all I know, you could be informing on me to the Tholians. But if I don't answer, you'll probably tell them I'm hiding something. Fine. My name is Deton. I was born on Romulus. After the war, I signed on to a freighter crew working the Bolian run. My captain got in trouble with the Tholians, and I ended up here. I'm a true and loyal servant of the Tholians, and I don't want any trouble. Now go away and leave me alone. I have work to do. Don't bother me. Okay then. You're not a hero. Obviously. Oh, can't go that way. Oh, look. I had this urge to scan this for some unknown reason. Fonic. It's too bright in here. Why? Why would you care about me? No one cares about me. I don't even care anymore. Go away. Go away. Okay. Shall indeed. Human aid dietary supplement 47. Should have been 42. Got a minute to talk? I know. I asked around about you, and I don't know if I'm supposed to be telling you this, but I need your help. You're not supposed to be here. None of us are. Not in this timeline, I mean. My ship, my crew. We were supposed to do something important. We went through an anomaly, moved through time, and everything changed. We tried to go back. I guess the battle with the Klingons disrupted the anomaly. Instead of getting back where we belong, we ended up here with the Tholians uh, running everything. I'd never even seen a Tholian before. Okay. You have to help us set things right. You have to help us get back to our ship. Who's that? Me and my crew. There are a little over a hundred of us here, scattered throughout the work camp. We're about 65 years ahead of where we should be, according to my math. We were fighting the Romulans. This was back in 2344. And the weapons discharges caused a temporal rift. 
We passed through, and because we weren't at Narendra to do what we were supposed to do, the timeline changed. We ended up in a timeline where the Federation and the Klingon Empire were at war, and the Federation was losing, badly. We tried to go back to set things right, but then the Klingons found us and the Enterprise D, and there's someone here with us from that timeline. Her name is Tasha. I'll take you to her. Maybe she can help explain this. Tasha, huh? We need your help. My name is Tasha Yar. I was Chief Tactical Officer of the USS Enterprise D. In my timeline, we were fighting a war against the Klingons, and I was proud to do my part to protect the Federation. What I learned, though, in the correct timeline, history as it should be, I died a meaningless death. I accepted the risks when I put on the uniform, and I don't regret what happened. But if I'm going to die, I want it to mean something. That's why I chose to go back with the Enterprise C. Yeah. I know this is a lot to accept, but you have to trust us. Um. Got a minute to talk? Oh, yeah. Uh, now I'm supposed to talk to her. We need your help. I'm from Starfleet, and if I'm right, that's a name that should ring bells with you as well. In an alternate timeline from this one, the correct one, Starfleet is still alive and well, and you're a Starfleet officer too. When the Enterprise C moved ahead in time, it created an alternate timeline, one in which I was alive but shouldn't have been. I left with the Enterprise to set things right. We thought we were returning to the Narendra system in 2344 to defend the Klingon colony there from a Romulan attack. We ended up in this nebula in 2409. The Tholians caught us before we could try again, and you can guess the rest. We're going to try to restore the timeline, but to do so, we need the Enterprise C. It's still in the hangar here, and as soon as we get back to her, we'll find the temporal rift and get back to where and when we're supposed to be. To do that, we need your help. Franklin Drake is already helping us. He managed to get an access key used to operate the systems in the hangar control room. We need you to get the code from Drake and use it to open the doors to the hangar control room. <sighs> I'd go myself. But we've already been here a week. The Tholians know we're trying to get back to the ship. They're watching us. But you're new. They won't suspect you're involved. That's the idea, at least. Of course, it's not as simple as getting the code and opening the door. Of course not. The Tholians have guards on all critical areas. You'll need to slip past the guards and get into the maintenance tunnels. From there, it's a winding maze to the hangar control room, which can only be unlocked from the inside. Once you get in, you'll be able to open the doors. We'll be waiting there to help you free the Enterprise. Okay. Here, take this communicator. It's on a scrambled frequency the Tholians don't monitor, and it'll allow me to contact you while you're on the move. Maybe you can convince someone to cause a distraction. That might make slipping past the guards into the tunnels easier. Okay. Do you have a question? Oh, you got Take a key? It. Here's a map too. 
You'll need it in the tunnels. I still don't know why I'm risking my neck for this. Don't expect any more help from me. The Federation fell before I was born. I shouldn't even care, but... There's something about Yar and Castillo. I know they believe they can make a difference. It makes me want to believe. Okay. Do you need anything else? Nope. I do not. Convince someone to create a diversion. Um... So that's where we need to go, the land there. All right, Osec. I will be free. Can I get you to create a version for us? We need to reach the control. Your plan is foolhardy. If you want to die, do it without my assistance. Uh, all right. Islamic. Um. Morn. We get him to talk. <laughs> no. Tell me about yourself. Nope. This doesn't talk. All right. Fine. Uh, Ellen Garrick. Have we met? I get you to create a diversion for us. We need to reach the control. And what do I get for risking my life for you? Nothing. That's what. Not even a drop of canar. Find someone else to do your bidding, Captain. I don't take orders from anyone. Yeah. You suck. Tanae. Yes. Oh. My name is Tanae, and for many years I served in Starfleet. Do you require? Um, she's not gonna help me. This guy might. Sean. How can I assist you? I don't remember the Federation or Starfleet. The war was almost over before I was born. This is the only life I know. One of servitude, deprivation, loss. I want something better. That freedom my parents and grandparents told me about. I want the Federation back. I'll help. Just tell me what you need. Okay. Cool. This food isn't fit for dogs. This food isn't fit for dogs. Let's rumble. All right, I made it in. Tunnels. Well done. Those maintenance tunnels are a maze. They make navigating the Jeffries tubes on the Enterprise look easy. I recommend using the map to keep track of where you've been, what doors lead away from which room, and where you are currently. Okay. Um. We've hit a snag. There are tholians in the control room. When they're in there, they pump in a tholian friendly atmosphere and raise the temperature. It will kill us if we. 
to replace the methane-based atmosphere with something we can breathe and lower the ambient temperature in the control room before we can continue as planned. Why would the Tholians put a system in place that could create a hostile environment for them? The Tholians are very precise. They want to learn everything they can about the ships they're capturing. All rooms connected to the hangars have their atmospheres exchanged to prevent damage to the systems they're dismantling for study. Also, sometimes they force humanoids to do the work for them, so they'll pump in something we can handle. All right. Why is this trouble? Trouble cues from Lent and rolls gently toward you looking for food. You realize you're talking to a trouble. Maybe you've been in these access tunnels too long. Or maybe it's the gas fumes. <laughs> Funny. Oops. This way this time. This way. Gas vents. Um. View the map. Well, let's go left. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Oops. Okay. Lower the temperature. Nice. Thanks, Kit Mark Five. Oh, it wasn't a frame. What was it? it? Was one of these things? Oh, science kit. Why did I get a science kit? I'm not a science officer. Oh, lame. Oxygen based atmosphere. Okay, I gotta go this way.
Okay, now I should be... Yep. He's dead, Jim. Who's Jim? <laughs> She's dead. So that's... Yeah. Oh, it's a dead end this way. Two. We go out. Huh? Okay. Been everywhere. Remember where we parked. Okay. Okay, determine what the Tholians know about Iconians. They might actually know quite a bit. Oh, that's where we came. Okay. Come on through, guys. Looks like the Enterprise C's transporters are still online. We can beam the rest of the crew onto the ship before we leave. All right, so Castillo. We need to work together. What do you want me to do? What's your specialty? I was specialty? a helm officer on the Enterprise before everything went to hell. But I'm really handy with heavy machinery, like those clamps holding the ship. And I know I can take care of those and get us free. If you need me to, we need to work together. What do you want me to do? All right, docking clamps works. Me. I am here to assist. My first posting in Starfleet was to an ambassador class vessel. I am familiar with most of the ship's systems, but I spent several months working on a refit of the ship's computer. I am confident I can restore. I am okay, here to assist. Okay, our levels. What? Do it. You. We don't have much time. I know a few tricks to take that tractor beam system off. We don't have much time. Okay, just save the tractor beam. Then I will do the whip. Overriding security protocol. Yeah, well, you do that. I gotta go in here. The Tholians have an extreme interest in Iconian technology, and they've targeted New Romulus as a key site for excavations. I'll alert the Republic forces there. They'll I'm need changing to be ready the targeting the subroutines land. for the tractor beams. He's done. She's done. Is that done? Oh yeah. Tractor, Tractor beam. beam is disabled. Okay.
force fields. I thought you deactivated all the security protocols. Do you want me to do that for you? I know a few things about force fields. Having trouble? You do know that we could have Tholians swarming us any minute, right? I thought we took care of everything. Starfleet Protocol 547C clearly states. I don't think the Tholians have heard of Protocol 547C. Here we go. Board the Enterprise. Captain, I'm detecting Tholian mesh weavers headed for our position. On We took a hit. Phasers are partially offline. We'll need to work together to take out this last ship.
Oops. Uh. Okay. Oh, must be it up here. Oh, fine too. Yeah. Where am I? What am I doing here? I'm sure you've realized by now. You're part of a very different timeline. This one is an aberration that we are here to correct. It would be irresponsible of us to let you go back in time with the Enterprise-C and compromise that timeline as well. We'll send you back to your time. There are still some very important events in the 25th century that you need to be a part of. As soon as the Enterprise C returns to its correct place in history, the timeline should right itself. Okay, so I actually did this out of order, apparently. But I remember that's that's part of a a series time time quests. There wasn't anything there. That's strange. Congratulations, Commander. Oh, traits. Yeah. So, traits again. Crown traits. Um... This. And... Resist. Readiness. Okay. Accurate. Stop assist. Um, for theorist.
Okay, what about damage? Okay. That one we don't have yet. Okay. Space skills. We're gonna have hanger pets, but whatever. Buckle requisition packs, park cruiser. Yes. Commander. Oh, Gunklin. Oh, I would have to go to all right can't see the ship yet but what I did that quest for was actually for this That one was not done yet. So the next one we have up is multiple choice to be raised after the Jabberwocky. You have recovered the orb of possibilities from Gul Kardec. No doubt you are being pursued by true way forces. You must return the orb to the temple in Hathor. I have notified Vedic Prin. She is waiting for you in the temple. How can I help you? Okay. Go to Vador. Alright, now before I do that, I'm going to take a break, have some lunch. It's my lunchtime. Uh, I have lunch look kind of late. Anyway, so I'm going to have some lunch and probably hop back on. So, I'm just going to go here. And log out. <laughs> and I'll just leave it right here. But uh, I'm going to end the stream.
and come back later.